Thank you so much. It's my pleasure to be here. And then um, I want to sincerely appreciate all of you. I hope you can hear me. I want to sincerely appreciate every one of you for being in this meeting. We've had um, two speakers already, and the sessions have been amazing. Who can agree with me on that? Awesome, awesome. That's, that's great. I want to especially thank our, our speakers who we've had already, Mrs. Ngozi Aki and um, Pastor Sam Ihanacho for that mind blowing, those mind blowing sessions. All right, I'm going to be handling a session on social media for leaders. Social media for what? Leaders. But before then, it's, it's going to be my honor to honor, um, it's going to be a pleasure to honor Pastor Sam um, before he leaves us. He has a lot of uh, engagement today. It's actually a busy day for him, but um, he just had to make out time to join us, and he delivered value. All right, so um, please join me to welcome Pastor Sam Ihanacho as we present to him an Excellence in Leadership Award of the Impact Field Global Youth Initiative, which is for his immeasurable contribution towards raising transformational young leaders in the society. Presented this day, 23rd of July, 2022, at Leadership Rebirth Conference. We thank you so much, sir. We all know I'm to celebrate you, sir. Yeah, thank you so much. We, we all know you, sir. How many of you have ever used or are still using social media? It, it seems like it's, <laughs> a lot of people are already laughing. What, you, should, you should respond to I asked a question. In fact, have you ever heard of social media before? No, you've not, you've not had. Let me ask you, how did you know about this conference? Hmm? According to the records, 66.3% of the people who registered for Leadership Rebirth Conference saw it on social media, including almost everybody here. Most of you here saw it on social media. In fact, even if your first contact with this conference was not on social media, I know that within the period, you still saw it on social media because you go there, all right? And... I want to make this an interactive session by asking you, what is social media? What do you think social media is? I also want to ask you, um, if you know the names of social media, a lot of us, what we know is Facebook, WhatsApp, Instagram, and then some people go to Twitter. I don't know, Twitter is so boring for me. I, yeah. Yes, and I mean it. Some people also love Twitter. And then of most, of most recent, you know, people go to what they call TikTok. TikTok. How many of you have a TikTok account? <laughs> you know? So, what do you think about social media? Please, can I have the mic microphone being passed around so I, I'll hear from two people. Is social media bad? Is it good? Just tell me from your own, you know, observation. Two people, just raise your hand. Good morning. Good, Good morning, morning, House. So for me, social media is actually a digital platform where people of different um, environments and different um, places come together to meet and interact. So it's, a, it's an environment that brings people to interact. Is so it bad or is it good? It's not bad and it's not good. It is not bad and it is not, I don't understand. <laughs> Explain to us, it is not bad and at the same time, it is not that good. Right, that's it was standing somewhere. I'm in the middle. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let me hear from a female, a lady. Okay, good day all. Good day. Just like he said, social media is a digital platform for communication. Then, I'm standing that it is good. Social media is good. How? Of course, communication. Okay, so is what people do on social media is just to communicate? To pass information. Oh. That's just the basic of social media. Okay. To pass information. Okay, that's, that's beautiful. Now, I see social media as a knife. Pay attention. The same knife you will use to cut your vegetable. 
and it will look good. And when it's entering your stomach, you know, you're feeling, you know, yes, you don't want to chew it like you're chewing a mango. That is the same knife that when you use, if you chew it on somebody's stomach, what will happen? So I see social media as a knife. It can be good, it can be what? Bad, depending on what the usage. So your input is what determines your output. What you put in is what determines what you bring out. If you're a kind of person who goes on the social media and what you're doing is, how do I look? A lot of people, how do I look? So your morning, in the morning you wake up, a lot of us cannot even deal without going on social media for a whole day. And we ask ourselves, what do we even go there to do? You want to go there every day to ask people, how do you look? They will say, you are fine. Or maybe you went to a studio and you got a very beautiful picture and you, you push it, you know. People are saying, cute. This is beautiful. This, have, you, have you noticed that pictures, when you put beautiful pictures, it attracts a lot, you know. Especially, Gideon shared a post about the car. That was on Wednesday. My people, I was in Imo State, and calls we are coming. Calls we are coming. Hello, I said, Kamwagi, congratulations on the car. Hello, congratulations. I said, wow, that's beautiful, you know. The car is coming. I told Princess that it's, it's at the wharf. We are clearing it. <laughs> All right? So it depends on your usage. Now I'm going to share with you. I will start from the negative. Then I will get into the positive you know, usage of social media. On the social media, there are so many negative things that you can see. I have my slide with the media. I don't know why it's not showing on the screen. There are so many negative usage. People go to social media to bully others. Have you seen something like that? Cyberbully. They want to insult the hell out of you. Who are you? are crazy. Get out. Do you know that people go into depression because of what they were told on, on social media? Do you know? That is a negative way of using that media. Some people go into social media to do fraud. They call it Yahoo Yahoo. G guy. One guy, one of those days, called me. I finished speaking at an event, and I saw a call on my phone. I stepped out to answer a call. Yes, I am this and this and this. I am working with Facebook in Nigeria. There, is, there are people who are going on your page. They are using your profile picture to scam people. And uh, we want your password so that we are going to correct it for you. I said, wow. I said, uh, so I'm not a very big public figure now. Said, but that's beautiful. I allow them to use my picture. They're making me more popular. I said, why will you need my password? I said, because that is the only thing that will help us to make sure that people don't use your picture to defraud people. I said, wow, you are a scammer. He switched off the phone. I, wanted, I called back. He didn't pick it. That is a negative use of social media. People, and I won't even be surprised if there are people here who do that. I would not be surprised. They tell you, click on this link, you click on it, they are hacking your, account, your bank account immediately. That's a negative use of social media. If you go to social media to watch pornographic material, it's a negative use. You know, there are people, there are people that, you know, what they're posting is so erotic that you don't need a pornographic site anymore. So you just switch into their page and you're watching nonsense. It's an, and a lot of young people are doing that. In fact, if you watch pornography in any way, it's affecting you. It's really, really affecting you. You need to desist from it. All right. So let me share with you the things that are the positive things. There are so many negative things done on the social media, but let me share the positive ones. Number one is that it has improved communication. A few years, so many years ago, before you could send a message from Enugu to Lagos, it would take almost a month. Am I communicating? Because you will have to. If you don't travel by yourself, you will have to send it through what they call post office. Hmm? And the post office will do all the waste of time. And maybe the message is a very, very important and urgent one. Before the message will get to those people, everything has spoiled. But now, 
with someone who is in the U.S. In fact, as I was seated here, I was chatting with someone who is in the U.S. And I was also discussing with another person who is in, um, in, in Kenya. Different parts of the world. Just a second, as, as, as long as you, as, as you are clicking it, it's ticking. That it has gone to the person. And the person will respond if it's online. That is a powerful tool that you should not make, you should not abuse as a leader. All right? With social media, you can connect to families. Connect to, connect to loved ones. I usually say that um, 85 to 90 percent of people who have helped my life, who have helped what we are doing at, at Impact Field, we first connected online, on Facebook particularly, because that's where I, I stay more than other social media platforms. We first got some of the people who have helped my life tremendously. I have not seen them up to today. Some we met online, and then after some years. We now saw physically because of the power of social media. But meeting them online and them contributing to your life or you contributing to the life of another person depends on what the usage. As a leader, what do you go there to do? Some of you, it is 2022 and next year is election. Some of you carry election matter for head, which is not bad, but in which way are you doing it? Are you the kind of people who go and insult people because maybe they don't believe in your political, um, as the, 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 your candidate? You call their name and tag them everywhere. Social media has made people, everybody look like they are the same. All men are not equal. Am I communicating? All men, you'll be deceiving yourself if you think that everybody is the same. Everybody, all of us are equal because we have data. Because you have, some of, some of us go to social media with what, what we call, um, um, free mood. And we hide behind our keypad and we are insulting people. You don't even know the person who you are insulting, where the person is. You don't even know who that, the capacity of that person. I've seen a lot of young people insult their destiny helpers on Facebook, on social media. So, ah, get out. Who do you think you are? Get out, you know. I'm in my house. Come and beat me. We were already here yesterday, so uh, the, the, the anchor said, I will find somebody to his house one day and beat the person truly, truly, you know. So social media helps us, you know, to connect with people. Most of you connected with me. I connected with most of you online. We never met before we connected. And then you started seeing my content, and you were commenting. I started seeing your, your own. I started commenting. And before you know it, we, we, we grew, and then we, had, we, we, have, we, we have now become friends. We've now become partners. We've, be, we've now become people who work together, social media. Number um, three is that social media can also be used for commercials. Almost every day, when you go online, you do not go there to buy things. Or have you ever taken your phone and said, I want to go to Facebook. Let me see if there's something I will buy. Do you go online to check for something? Like on Facebook, I am go I'm logging online now. No, let me see what to buy. Is that what you do? We go to, you know, see what is happening. And then, bam, we saw something. We will see something that we need. And then we'll buy it. Commercials. And a lot of you here are also selling online. I am selling online. This program, in part, um, Leadership Rebirth Conference, was sold online. So everything. You can sell anything, including, including um, food. You can sell a chafishi, they call it gel, gele, right? You can sell anything. Clothes, anything. And if you're not making maximum, of, ma maximum use of social media to sell what you have, please, start now. You've already lost some money. You've already left some money on the table. Now, now is, a, is a better time. If you have anything that you do and you're selling, or even a personal brand, start building a personal brand online. That is what I am doing. I am building a personal brand online so that tomorrow, when my name is mentioned somewhere, my name will become a key to open people, to open door for people. I'm not a padlock. So let me ask you, is your name a key or a padlock? The one that w someone who has just a little slim chance of getting into some, so an opportunity and he just mentions your name. Kata kata don boss. They lock the thing out of him because of his, your name. So social media, you can get sponsorship. You can connect with your destiny helpers on social media. 
you, you, can, you can be entertained on social media. In fact, it is social before it became what? It is what social before it became what? So when you go online, don't go and be bony face all the time, trying to make sense. What sense are you making? Don't go and be trying to make sense, you know. I, am, I know what I am doing. Sometimes go there and laugh. In Nigeria, where we are suffering a lot, in fact, someone said, if you're a Nigerian, don't, make sure you don't go to hell, because if you go to hell, you're going the second time. There are so many things online that will make you laugh. Go and laugh, my dear. Laugh. Depression is real. In this, in this world, depression is killing a lot. Of, I've, I've had the opportunity to cancel a lot of young people. And I am seeing depression dealing, even the people who are laughing, even the people who you see on the road and they are, smi- they are all smiles. Something is going in, is going on in their lives. And I, something may also be going on in your own la- life. So if you, if you see something that will make you laugh, don't go and be doing spirit cocoa. All right? So using social media as a young leader, first of all, you have to discover people's. Where is your life headed? Because that will also determine the kind of people you're going to connect with. Am I communicating? It will determine the kind of... You cannot just go and send friend requests to everybody. Anybody you see online. You just be sending friend requests and then they will start contaminating you. Or maybe they are not contaminating you, but they are going another lane. And you, you come follow them, go join, join lane where you don't know where they, they carry you go. Have you seen that... Um, Help me, oh, help me. I don't know whether they carry me go. Okay, they carry me no, go where I don't know. Find people, young leader. What are you created for? What do you stand for? Who are you? Find people. That will influence the content that you are going to put online. Because every content anybody puts online is a reflection, is a reflection. A reflection of who you are. Don't say it is me online or when I come out, I am a different person. It's a lie. Your character is showing in the things you're writing. The, the real you, no matter how you want to, you know, try to, you know, shake it and, 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 and close it, the real you is showing in those things you're writing. The comment you make on somebody's post, that's the real you. Because most of the time, those things you write there, you don't, you don't think about them. It just comes and you, you put it. Because that's you. That's you. That is you. So discover peoples. It will help you determine the groups you join. The pages you want to go and like and want to read from. Now, using social media as a young leader, you have to pay attention to three things. Number one is, I call it the ABC. Number one is the appearance. Number two is the behavior. And number three is the communication. Your appearance on social media. Let's even start from your name. Let me ask you the, the, a question, and please, you have to tell yourself the truth. What is your name on Facebook? Is it Miss, Miss Guinea? Miss Winnie? Eh? There are funny, funny names people on, on social media. That some of the, most of the time, I look at ah. Start from answering the name your mother gave you. That name that if you want to fill an official form, in fact, the name in your international passport, the name in your national ID, the name in your PVC, that is, the, that is your name. And that is where you should start from. Stop answering nonsense things that we don't understand. If, it's a, if, if what you want to put is a brand name, let's know it's a brand name. And, and stop answering, um, must, um, how do they call it? There are a lot of things. I think um, it's... Um, it's because he and that knows how to call those things. So what is your name? What is your cover photo? What is on your cover photo? The first picture, the first thing on top, on top of your social media platform. On your profile, what is there? Is this something that we don't know where it came from? Some of you put something that they snapped with. Java phone, Ghana. Java phone came with that has lost quality. You're not representing yourself very well. Put something that when people see it, they say, oh, yeah. On my own profile, you're going to see my book, The Winning Youth. It has been there for close to two years. I don't want to change it. Because when you come, you need to see that I've authored what? A book. 
So when we start, when you start scrolling through, you're going to see a lot because I've written, I've called third seven. When we leave the, the, the cover photo, we will now get to the profile picture. Is it, the, is it a picture of Jesus that you put there? I'm not saying putting a picture of Jesus is wrong, but Jesus is not you, you know. Some of you go online, you, you download a picture of St. Paul, the Asa, put it there. Or maybe you, you download a picture of chaplet, you put it there. It is, it is good, and we love your faith. I love my faith. I am a Christian. I am tongue-talking, actually. You know, Christian, but represent yourself very well, my dear. In representing your, yourself well, you're giving glory. You're letting your life so shine before men that they will see and they will do what? Give glory to God. They cannot see that picture of St. Paul or the Asa and be giving glory to God because they are not... I, I hope you're, you're getting the gist. So, what is on your bio? Some of you write on your bio. Hmm. If, you, if, 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 if you find my trouble, I go give them to you the way you want them. <laughs> Have you seen it on people's... I, I know they find trouble, though, but if you find my own, I go give them to you the way you... Some people wrote, write those nonsense on, on their bio. Is that who you are? So, some people will write... I don't chat on, on Facebook. Chat me on WhatsApp. They will put their phone number. <laughs> Is that your bio? If, if, if you're brought to a, a, an international platform or a national platform, is that what you will tell them? That is who you represent. Then what do you post on your timeline? Some of you is only share, 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 share. You share everybody. Everybody you come across, you share his own. Please write your own. Tell your neighbor, write, write your own. Write your Even if it is one paragraph, write them. Make we see. Some of you are not even writing because the way you write is even funny. If you want to write before, you write B for. And you, do you write capital U for us? So it is very important. So what is your behavior? That's number two. What is your behavior? Your behavior has to do with your engagement. When you get into people's posts, what do you comment? Some of you, the way you attack people online, you don't even know who is watching. Every comment that you make has a tendency to reaching 1,000, 1 million people. And you, the truth is that you won't even know who is saying it. It's not WhatsApp status that you see, that you see who is saying it. Even on WhatsApp status now, some people will just walk up past, walk up past your status, you won't know. Like me, the way I walk up past most of, you, most of your status, you won't, you won't know I saw it. Do you go there and you insult people? Do you go there for name calling? Let us call, call them out. Table shakers. University of Violence. Comrade, take it easy now. I, I want to donate 10 bags of violence. You know? <laughs> okay. So, now the C is the communication. I've talked about it. When you go to social media and you get into some people's inbox and you're saying, hello, hi, some of you will come and wave hand for me. Wave hand. I will say hello. You will, you will go. In the next two, 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 two weeks, you will come back again and wave hand again. Have you seen some things like that? They will keep waving hand. They will say, oh, let, me, let me break the hand for you. If you, you know? So what is your communication? All right? So this, there's a check you must do before you leave this hall. Check what is on your profile picture, what is on your cover photo, what name are you answering? Please start changing it today. Here. If it's not correct, if it's not the right thing, if it does not represent you well, start, start changing it today. On your profile picture, please don't put group photo. in a church. We need to know the person who we are dealing with. Put a headshot. Go to studio at most 1,000 naira. Take something good. Put it there. It is called packaging. Hmm? We are not saying you should package yourself. Over package that the content and arm becomes more beautiful than the content. Now, when you go online, please stop tagging everybody. There's a lady that tags me every day. She can make 100 posts in a day, and she will tag me in all of them, plus 99 others. <laughs> hmm. 
I am, I am, because I am, I am trying to gather muscle and momentum to, to get into a rainbow. I said, Nebuko, calm all down. I, I know still your kidney. Which pictures are you featured in? When you put pictures online, is he the ones that show you where <laughs> you are, the, the internet doesn't, doesn't forget? Let me tell you the truth. The internet does not do what forget. A lot of our political leaders are trying to wipe out their, their history and the things that they've done on the internet, but this is a very difficult thing to do. So you have to be intentional about your use of social media. And let me even ask you something. When you Google your name, what comes out? I mean Google. It shows whether people are going to know you. Because a lot of people, once I tell them my name, I, I was surprised one of those days a lady came and said, on my WhatsApp, and she said she saw, she, she, she saw my name on Google. I said, Google. It's not like Facebook. She went to Google to search something, and she saw my name. So when, when I Google your own, what did I go see? And please be consistent online. You cannot be selling tomatoes today. And tomorrow you're a public speaker. Next, tomorrow you're a political analyst. The other day you are an importer and exporter and a general merchandiser. No, you have to stick to what. Even if you do everything, am I communicating? Even if you do everything, let people know you. If we are still on a table of 10 people and they say, we want someone who's going to come and teach on, on leadership, let them. You let your name be one of the first three that they will call, if that is what you're doing. Listen, on the on the leadership, on the way marriage, man, on the way man, on the marriage, on the katazi, on the way no no mazik, no the email sports, on the mezi. I am married born. On the resia wokota, no wete. On I go, I am married born. So it is called brand distortion. You are distorting your brand. Nobody knows where you're standing. Respect people's space on, on Facebook. Don't come in and say, at the first conversation, you're saying, I need you to do me a favor. My grandmother is in the hospital, and she's about dying. If money doesn't come out from your pocket now, my grandmother will die. Person will not know you. You're billing the person. There's so much billing on social media. Don't build them. Not the build person, especially people who you don't know. All right? Um, I have some things on the slide. Um, just an example. Someone came and said to me, I have never chatted with this person in my life. The person came and said to me, tomorrow is my birthday. I said, wow. Hey, tomorrow is, who are you? Let's start from there. So as, as leaders, you have to represent yourself, represent your brand, and the people who are going to, who, who are following you, we see someone to follow. They will, you, they will see someone who is what, doing what, following. Thank you so much. My name is Solomon. Thank you.